Hi guys, let us solve some questions on simplification in this question set. But before we go ahead, let us learn some terminology. Sometimes there are questions which have this thing. If in a question there is something of something, it literally means the product of those two numbers. In this case, it is two thirds of 18. So what is two thirds of 18? It means that you have to multiply 2 by 3 into 18. So this is the literal translation into mathematics of this statement. With this let us solve our question number 1. What is 3 by 10 of 1 by 2 of 27 by 96 of 320? Well the meaning of this statement is 3 by 10 times 1 by 2 times 27 by 96 times 320. Now it's easy to cancel out terms in this expression. So this 0 gets cancelled out then 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6 and this 32 and this 32 gets cancelled out. So what remains is 27 divided by 2. Now there is nothing like 27 divided by 2 in the options. So we have to evaluate this into a mixed fraction. So let's divide 27 by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. So this is 13 1 by 2. So the answer is option 1. The 3 fifth of a number is equal to 5 third of 396. What is the number? So let the number be x. Now it is said that 3 fifth of a number, so we have 3 by 5 of x, means 3 by 5 into x is equal to 5 third of 396. So 5 by 3 times 396. So this is the expression or the equation that we have got. So we have to find the value of x. So x is equal to 5 by 3 into 396 into this 5 goes up and 3 comes down. So 5 by 3. Now we can divide 396 by 3. So 3 times 132 is 396. And we can also divide 132 by 3. So again 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times 4 is again 12. So this is equal to 5 times 44 times 5 which is equal to 220 times 5 and this is equal to 5 twos are 10, 1 carry 5 twos are 10 plus 1 is 11. So 220 into 5 is equal to 1100. Therefore our answer is option 2. On to the third question now. You have this big equation and you have to find the value of question mark. So let us rewrite the equation. We have 3 by 8 times 168 times 15 divided by 5 plus let it be x. Then on the right hand side of equal to we have 549 divided by 9 plus 235. Now let us cancel out terms as quickly as we can. So 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15, 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 8 ones are 8. So 8 times 21 is 168. So we have 3 times 21 times 3 plus x is equal to, let us cancel out terms here also, 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 6 is 54, and 9 times 1 is 9, so 61 plus 235. Now we have to find the value of x. Let me write it, 21 times 9 plus x is equal to 61 plus 235. Now 21 times 9 is 189 plus x is equal to 61 plus 235. So if you solve this, x will come out as 107. Question 4. 2 fifths of 1 fourth of 3 sevenths of a number is 15. What is the half of that number? 
So let this number be x. So we have 2 fifths of 1 fourth of 3 seventh of x. So 2 fifth of 1 fourth of 3 seventh of x is equal to 15. So we have this value. Let us find x, then we'll find the half of x. So this is equal to, first let us see if we can cancel out terms. We cannot cancel out terms, so let us keep x to the left of equals 2. So x is equal to 15. These terms will go up times 5 into 4 into 7 divided by 2 into 3. Oh, well, we, we could have cancelled out 2 and 4. Nevertheless, let's cancel out 2 and 4 here. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So we have got 5 times 5 times 2 times 7, which is equal to 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. And 50 times 7 is Let's write this 50 times 7, which is equal to 350. So the value of x has come out as 350. But we have been asked the half of x. So half of x, that is x by 2, is equal to 350 by 2. That is equal to 175. So the answer is option D. Okay, time for the fifth and the last question now. One seventh of a number is less than one fifth of that number by 90. What is the two ninths of that number? So it is quite simple. Again, let's let the number be x. Now we have one seventh of a number. So we have one by seven of x. Then we have one fifth of that number. So one by five of x. And we have been given the difference between these two numbers, which is 90. So 1 seventh of a number is less than 1 fifth of that number, which means that 1 fifth of that number is greater than 1 seventh of that number. And the difference is 90. So 1 by 5x minus 1 by 7x is equal to 90. So this is 7x minus 5x divided by 7 pi is 35 is equal to 90. So 7x minus 5x is equal to 2x is equal to 90 times 35. So 90 times 35. Let us not solve this because we have to calculate the 2 ninth of the number. We have the twice of this number as 90 times 35. We want the 2 ninth of that number. To calculate the 2 ninth of this number we will have to divide this equation throughout by 9. So 2x is equal to 90 times 35. We'll have to divide both the left hand side and the right hand side by 9. Thus we'll get 2 ninths of x. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 10 is 90. So this is equal to 350. So 2 ninths of x is 350.